How's it going everybody? Welcome back to some more Paper Mario. In the last episode, we went through and passed through the Schwank Fortress and came to Hooktail's Castle, or at least the very beginning. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and dive right on in into Hooktail's Castle. So, now, first off, uh, if we just head into down here, actually, you can not actually jump that bridge. But if you come over here, we have a little secret kind of a, a badge, the HP Plus. So that's a little hidden and it, it you might have missed it if you went through it the first time because at first you might think, oh, I might fall through that. But yeah, if we just come back right up here and head through this door, we'll go through where we went through last time where there was a little airplane panel and we just turn into an airplane and glide on through past the bridge. So yeah, that's a pretty easy way to get past through there. And we get our first instance of Hooktail's Castle. Now if you head up to those stairs right there, they should bring you to another paper airplane where you can kind of pass through. And over here, actually, let me let me switch out my uh, characters real quick. We're going to switch out, at the, for the time being, Goombella. So, let's just go ahead and click on Goombella. There we go. And over here, we actually have a new, me a new enemy. Oh wow, we actually hit the flying one first. So, here we have the paratroopas. These are pretty much just kind of like <laughs> regular Koopa Troopas with wings, as you'll see. That's a Koopa Paratroopa. Well, um, it's basically a Koopa Troopa with wings. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 1. I kind of hate that this guy gets to fly. Of course, you can't stop on and he'll plunge down and he'll be a plain Koopa Troopa. So yeah, as she says, you pretty much just like kind of like flying Goombas, you can just stomp on them and they fall down and return to regular Paratroopas. Yeah, do that and he's ours. Stomp again to flip him and his arms and legs are useless. Oops, sorry, that's not true. It looks like he can still wiggle them around a bit. Yeah, he, like, he, as you can see, they wiggle around just a tiny bit. But if we just go ahead and take out these guys first, oh, as with regular Koopa Troopas, you want to take out the flying ones before anything because they are pretty much vulnerable to all attacks once you once you actually pretty much take them out. So they can't really do anything while they're on their back, which is nice. So we just go ahead and use this. That's it. So get back up. We'll jump on this one. They're pretty easy to deal with, honestly. We don't actually have too much new enemies in this area, um, unfortunately, but once we do come around them, uh, we will actually see. Now, the thing with these flying Koopa Troopas, that I'm sure you have, were probably able to tell, is Koops can't really do. Oh, I'm not miss that second jump. Koops can't really do much to them because, well, he's only hit ground type enemies, so until they are like knocked down to the ground, they're pretty much invulnerable to all of his attacks. So, just something to keep in mind when fighting these guys. There we go. One more. Oh, when we get a little... That, that wouldn't have been even useful. We're actually going to go ahead and use a power smash just to finish this guy more quickly. And perfectly timed. Oh, well, we only got two of them. Alrighty. And we'll take the other one as well. Alrighty. And after defeating those Furry Koopas, you come to this little red block here. And... You go ahead and hit it and we get a new badge, the power bounce. Jump on one enemy until you miss an action command. So yeah, it's, it's pretty much progressive like jumping and you'll see on the floor that there's like a bunch of dry bones, which don't really do anything at the moment, but if we just go ahead and head through these doors, we'll come to another room with bars in the back. Oh, oh no! These bones, they remind me of my father. There's there's no doubt about it. It is my father. Dad! Um, wait, what's this? Mario, my father's clutching some kind of letter. Or at least his uh bones are. So, what should I read it? What should I do? Should I read it? Yeah, of course you should read it. Mm -hmm. desert. Um, okay, I can do this. I'll I'll read it. Ahem, I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I am stuck and can no, go no further. 
So in this letter, I shall note Hooktail's weakness for those who follow. The dread Hooktails cannot tolerate creatures that begin with CR and end in Ikit. Hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hooktail's weakness. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find that item. One last thing. If faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinder nature and fall for its tricks. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already miss veils my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I am proud of who you've become. Huh? My son, Colorado? Not Coops? Oops. Uh, yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. But if this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. And so, yeah, we get a new thing, but um, if we go ahead and jump right over here, we're actually going to switch to uh, Goombella for, for a little bit because we have another new enemy. We go ahead and shake it. <laughs> You clearly don't value your lives that much if you've come to this castle to, to disturb us. You will go no further, and from this moment on, you'll be nothing but bones. And we get engulfed with a bunch of dry bones, and they all come to life. What's with the numbskulls? Ow, ow, watch it, Pushy. They're showing me around, Mario. What should we do? So they try pushing you away, but if you use your hammer, you can pretty much just stop them. They, uh, they... <laughs> They go all over the place, so and eventually you can meet up with the red guy. So the reason why I actually brought out the uh, Gumbella is because we actually have two new uh, two new enemies. So we'll start off by noting the red bones. So we just line up about there. That's a red bone. A little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know. Max HP is five, attack is three, and defense is one. Unlike your average dough bones, even if you pound it to, H to 0 HP and it crumbles, it totally might revive like a zombie. My advice is to get rid of all the dough bones, then attack the red bones. Oh, and one more thing. Once its friends start to fall, it may create some more. So yeah, pretty much if, if you aren't able to take it down like at, at the first instance, it does come back to life I think after two turns I want to say. So, We'll see that, and these guys do a good amount of damage, especially the red one. So, yeah, you want to avoid that if you can. Um, that's fine. Okay. My badge is coming in clutch, as per usual. We'll go ahead and take out another one of these. Alrighty, we're doing okay. And this guy's actually, like, he does a lot of damage. Ah, we didn't get lucky. Okay, and now if we tattle on the dull bones, or dry bones, in other words. That's a dough bones, sort of a skeleton thing. It was a Koopa Troopa once. Max HP is 1, attack is 2, and defense is 1. These creeps throw bones to attack. Oh, and they build reinforcements too. Attacks that can strike multiple dough bones at once are the most effective. So yeah, this she this basically means that you need um, Koops out for this moment. But that'll come in due time. And whenever there are less than five enemies on the screen, uh, the red dough bones will try to like reviving the others. So we're actually gonna go ahead and change out um, to Koops because he is getting a bit weak. Uh, maybe we should have done that on Mario's turn, but it, it's alright. So, like I said, whenever there's not five enemies on the screen, uh, the red dough bones, the red bones I guess, will try to either um, attack you or it. Oh my god, I'm terrible at timing these. Or it will, jeez. Or it will spawn a new enemy. So for that reason, we brought him out. If we use the shell toss right here, it'll be a bit easier. There we go. We can actually hit all of them at once, and we take out the other two. So we're gonna want to just focus on this guy. Look at that stylish. Oh my god, so good. Alrighty, and they do have one defense, so these little attacks don't do anything to them. Oh my god, that thing does a bunch of damage. Alrighty. And there we go. We take it out. And we get a good amount of star points, so that, that is fantastic.
to say the least. Now, you'll see back there that there is a key behind those bars, and that will be useful later. Just keep track, the, track of that in your mind. And if we just get through, we'll find a bunch of more pretty much dry bones, or dull, dull bones. So yeah, throughout this entire room, you'll pretty much see a bunch of dry bones just kind of come out of them. And over here, as I was saying, over here we actually have our first instance of a Shine Sprite. A mysterious powerful object collecting these will help. So yeah, these are very useful, especially for later in the game, well, especially at any time, honestly. Because they improve your, like, your sidekick every time you collect one, so... That'll come useful in due time, but over here we actually have our first puzzle of the of the castle so it's pretty it's pretty simple for the most part um you need to be able to break that yellow block over there and you can do that with just your hammer however if you go ahead and come back over here and you use hoops and just time it for a while just kind of jump back on there it brings you up to a secret room or kind of a secret room and over here we have a side piece so nice little collectible there easy to miss I know I missed it the first time I played through this game, but yeah, I wasn't as like completionist as I am now. So, if we just go ahead and hold this guy, I believe we should be able to do some stuff over here. Time it to the right and let it go. And this is kind of a tough jump, but if you jump just at the very ledge... Oh, we didn't make it that time. We'll try it once. Just make sure you're at the very ledge, then go ahead and jump. And you get another starter piece. If you just keep going to the left, there isn't much over here besides, like, just another ledge. So, nothing too important. We hop back down. You can't jump over there just yet. But, however, now that that block is up, we can use coops to hit this red switch. And that pretty much just inverts the staircase and allows us to get to the other ledge. So, pretty nice and plain and simple. Go over here. And we can use Coop's Shell once again to get us this castle key. A key that opens a door in Hooktail's castle. So, nice little collectible here. And we're going to want to switch back the switch. There we go. And we're just head through these doors. That's, I think, all you can get at the moment for this room. Go ahead and use the castle key. And over here we get some more enemies as well as a safe block. Um, I don't believe you can do anything with this green switch at the moment. At least not just yet. Let me just check to make sure. Alrighty. Yeah, you're actually you're brought up to another, another door with a, a block and a badge over here that is unobtainable at the moment. So just keep that in mind for later, it will become useful. But if we just head back down and head to the right instead, we will come to another room with a Goomba, which is kind of weird, first time we've seen Goomba in this castle. Alrighty, and after defeating the two enemies located in this room, you'll come to this kind of jail cell area. But if we just go ahead and actually smash this button, you'll notice that we can actually... It opens the gates, however, it only opens them for a brief moment. So we're gonna want to use Coop's special ability once again, time it, and just let it go as we come on in. So, we have another instance of this little black chest. Lovely, eh? What the heck? Hey! Yes, it's been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time. Huh? You heard me. Wow. Wait a sec. If you can hear m my voice, you must be some legendary hero or something. Or not. To be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me. But it sure is singing when people with that whole legendary hero bit. Hey, but, ex but seriously folks, I was wondering if you could let me out of this chest. I've been locked in here so long, I'm trying to get cramped up like you wouldn't believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy. Huh. What do you mean? You think you'll be cursed if you open the box? Ridiculous. Who would do that, really? Wait in a box and curse, folks? A real slime ball, that's who. But I'm not a real slime ball, and I would do no such thing. But that should be obvious. Look. If you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a little I scratch your back, you scratch mine, except in reverse order. Of course, you don't have to if you really don't want to. Like, finding a key is hard. Alrighty, and we just go ahead and go to the right. 
And here's a little maze, a little tactic room. You're gonna want to like memorize this little order. It's it's pretty easy, but you just kind of, I mean, you can kind of trace it out <laughs> if you find if you want. You'll see right there. And we open this chest. We get a black key, a strange black key. But what could it be for? Um, M Mario, L look at that. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Come on, run! So, yeah, you have about 50 seconds and it's a, it's pretty much a maze that you have to get out of. And there's a lot of like little kind of weird things you can do. So here you have a little cracked screen, which will be useful later, keep it in mind. But if we just go ahead and come through here. And it's, it's pretty easy, honestly. But since you have 50 seconds and as you can see, the spikes start coming down. And the whole screen pretty much covers, and you can pretty much just wait till the last second and open the door. <laughs> a little interesting how that is. Man, that was too close. Gotta shake it off. Ooh. Okay, we got the key, so let's go open the spooky chest. And if we just open this chest... Hey there! Boy, I am so glad you found that key. Unbelievable! Wee hee 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 hee! Fools! Why, only the most idiotic, putting-brained dolt would fall for a scheme like that! The castle's traps prevent anyone who entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste a way to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal. I'll throw in a free curse, no charge. Oogly boogly boo! Wee hee 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 hee! Now you're cursed, doofus! And it serves you right. This curse is more cursedly curse-worthy than any curse that's ever been cursed on you. 4. This curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold R. Wee hee hee hee! What a curse! Who curses like me? No one! Now, I shall show you just how frightful a curse it is. Go on and press and hold R. Press and hold R now! Wee hee 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 hee! Just look at yourself! How embarrassing for you! Eat a sandwich, skinny! Hee <laughs> hee! Do you understand what this curse means for you? Yes! It's a terrible curse! And farewell, you dumbbells! Wee hee 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 hee! And uh, what he thinks is a curse, I don't think it's very useful for later. Now, if we just come on in here, we can press R and pretty much just go through a few of the jail cells. And if we come in here, we actually get an attack FXR. Change the sound effects of Mario's attacks. So that will be very useful later on. Trust me. You don't want to use it right now. But trust me, in, in, in just a bit, it'll be probably the best thing you will ever use. So, before we head on up there, I want to show you guys something real quick. If you backtrack pretty much all the way to where the initial room with the dry bones are. All the way over here. Anyway, we head back to this room and you might remember the key that we saw earlier. You'll see that there are certain bars which you can actually use the R ability. And just go ahead and come on over here and we get a castle key. Very useful and you might have not noticed that when we first started but there it is. That'll be useful in a bit. And let's just go back to where we were at. Anyways guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, thank you all for watching as always. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and comment on what you love about this series so far. I, I know that you guys are liking it. I, I've seen the, the comments and they're fantastic. But yeah, this is gonna be a, a pretty short one. But that's gonna be it guys. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye